Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to L.A. Noir. Yeah, here we are, a new case. case. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is hoping. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA <laughs> couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sin. Right, let's make our way to the address. case. It's the alley off the lease of between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, fellas. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, fellas. Okay, we're just coming up to the crime scene now. I think, whoop, what are you doing, sunshine? Bit of an off camber turn there, and here we are. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Christ's sake. Brothers, Finker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations cool, blimey. would indicate a great deal of force. Yes, it would indeed. Right. What's this? One years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Library card. Ending in six six. Again. Another wedding ring torn. Another from wedding finger. ring torn and from. Skin oh. under the fingernails. Oh, that's the oh, That's really grim. It's really grim. Kiss the blood, B D. Hmm. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangle, battered. Yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mother had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road. Bruising from a small man's shoe. Further small man's shoe again. To the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. That guy. We just saw wander off there. He, I'm, I'm standing still because obviously I'm covering the body. Um, that guy with the reddish jacket, he was, when we were doing the Moller case, he was looking miserable when Rusty took the call. Right at the start. Go back and check it out. Him. This guy here. He is a police officer, but, um, yeah. Right, let's go and see if there's any, there's a bit of evidence over there Rusty's found. So let's go and check it out. Let's have a look at the evidence over here then. Number A. Number A. A, a stocking. If she took a blow to the head like the others... She was probably unconscious when strangled. 
clearly Cole doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, we'll put that back. And is there any more evidence? What do we have over here? Smokes. No, soft tissues. So soft tissues. Pocket pack. Carton of 12. And a pack of cigarettes. Okay, nothing going on there. So, you'll want to come take a look at this. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look at this first, Rusty. Oh, it's leading straight to you. Okay, I'll be right there. May as well follow the trail. Yeah, it's Rusty. Let's, let's nick him. Okay. Let's try not to walk in the blood. Oh, look, there's footprints. Walk through the evidence, never mind. What have we got here, Rusty? Oh, a hat. Oh, what's that say in it? Antonia. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. It's probably her name then. Anything else going on over here? Anything in the bins? Oh, look, that blood. That blood goes on, actually. This keeps going. Oh, look. Hang on, let's have a little jog. Where's this going? This is leading away from the scene. Ah! It's a shoe! Rather than picking out the banana peels. Cole, there we go. Miss Vivian. The scene, plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. No way. No way. Right, so what else is around here then? Um, is that relevant? Look, it's an old coffee cup. Any lipstick on there? No, okay. What else is around here then? Any more bloods? Oh! I got a bit of a... Oh, it continues on. on okay. It goes. On it goes indeed. Past the wagon. Oh, something was glistening on those um, pipes. There you go, Rusty. Something glistening on those pipes. See it? We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Mozzie, there's got insect issues around here. But what's on these pipes over here? There. It's a key. Number five. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Okay. More blood? Probably all the way to City Hall that brazen son. Now what's this here? A bit of paper. That's Two, five, three. Or a cipher. Hmm. Blood continues. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry. No, that's the end of it. No, hang on, I got it. Think. Oh no, there it is. Goes up the ladder. Oh look, Cole, go. <laughs> Sorry. That's not funny. Suddenly, so he's dead. But this is the way he's moving, right. Let's follow this blood through the old pigeon coop. What is that? Maldonado. By hand. Something in there. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He left them for us. Not clearly. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it was our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Got a... Oh, got something down here. What's this? Is makeup Enameled there? and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Okay, not sure what's going on there. Got a a buzz around here. Is that around here? No. Is 
Oh, I was just telling me that you, obviously. Trail points up. The trail continues. Just in case I missed that, right? It obviously wants to hold my hand a little bit. Crikey! How did it, how how is he getting the blood up here? Is, he must have like bagged it up or something because there's he's got something hanging here. Is this another key? No, it's oh, it's the ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. Oh God! What's the significance. It's brutal. That's what the significance is. Oh, here we go. He's got a bucket of blood, and this is just weird. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. That's really grim. And this is her purse, I take it. And there's the other Maldonado. Son of a bitch! Once are identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Right. You got in the dress, Rusty? Okay. No pets allowed. Oh, it's a... Uh... It's a rental boarding house. Wait just a moment. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. <laughs> okay. Pop your feet as you come in, detectives. Okay. It's this way. Both my feet. There we go. Alright, it's very dark in here. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh no! She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it! A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. All right, let's go and check on Antonia's room then. God, it's so dark in here. Can we put turn some lights on, or maybe open? Oh, hey, Rusty. Or open a curtain or two. On the left, Rusty, it's this one. Number five. Ooh, broken window. Will you look at that? Someone's drunk. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Ooh, what do we got here? Look, look down. Oh, it's a bit of metal bar or something. What is that, like a scepter? So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Where was taken from? It's like a, a mage by the looks of it. Anything? Oh, look, there's another airflow down there. Chrysler airflow. Nice. Alright. Let's hop in here. Oh, there's a letter on the. Uh... What's this? Mrs. Maldonado. What have we got here? Oh. Uh. Parsons, but Antonia. Okay. Further to my previous correspondence, um, I'm writing to inform you that your petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and the court date scheduled. Your case, docket number blah, will be heard on September the 17th. Um, okay. So she's getting divorced, is she? Ooh. 
charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. No, it wasn't. Well spotted, I wasn't even looking at that, Cole. I don't know how you managed to notice that, but okay. Um, is that all? Is that all there is? Window, let's see if we get any more tinkles or any more. That seems to be it, Rusty. Let's go down and have a word with the old lady. The hell am I? It's, a, it's like a maze in here, Rusty. Where the hell? Oh, here we go. Here she is. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Right, possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant? <laughs> no, ma'am. <laughs> oh, 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 she's a formidable lady. I can tell that straight away. All right, so, um, well, I think she's telling the truth, isn't she? It, it seems that way. Um, what can you tell? She's us convinced about herself. Leonardo? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, a little on the religious side, but a good girl. Can you tell me the movements of the victim? What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Oh, hang on. She's not as stone faced as she was. There's. No, there's something in there. Um. Don't know. We'll have to doubt her. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. <laughs> Where did quite she put go? it that way, Cole. I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Uh, okay. You've had a break in? No. That can't be true. You got a broken window, love. Has she had a heart attack? Are you okay? Now that that that's feigned acting, that Being is. Being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. I thought she was going to be a straight batter, this old lady. Where's the broken window? There we go. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window. I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Oh, okay, so it's merely her own selfish reputation. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewellery. Has she pinched the bracelet? Look at that smug little grin. You're a liar. What about her bracelet? Yeah. I don't know anything about a bracelet. No. It's in the picture, which doesn't necessarily mean you know anything about it, but... In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewellery box. Ah. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Will do. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado bar. Let's hit the bar. 
Uh, let's see if we got any more information at the the bar. Get in the car, Rusty. We're going to the bar, which I know you'll approve of. Come on, Rusty. Come on. By the way, you're running there. Come on, Rusty, get in. Come on, Rusty. Come on. Come on. It's going to be a long time. Come on, Rusty. Come on. Come on. Okay. This time. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the XY's line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that. Okay, coming to the bar now. Here's the El Dorado. No, it's not. That's because a that's a fruit picking place. Hang on. Real life suspects for every one of these Where's the bar? Ah, oh, there's the bar here. Need to go looking for the monster under the bed. El Dorado Bar, 1:40 p.m. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You work. The Hello, bar Diego. Last night? Yeah, being a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily. We have a lot of ladies like that in here. Oh yeah. Actually, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Where's that goddamn waitress? By hand. Okay, let's have a little reedy woo. See what this says. Divorce, Divorce papers. papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Okay. Okay, so she got her divorce papers. Uh, do you know anything about missing jewelry, Diego? Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Um, he's not telling us something. We've got no timing, so it's going to have to be a doubt. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Okay, movements of the victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Um... Yeah, I think it's the truth. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. Okay. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey! Get the guy, will you? Well, yeah, that's Do the job, best. mate. That's the job. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Okay. These people looking so look at all the, the cow skulls on the uh right here. Oh, here we go. Married man again. There we go, out of order. Ah oh yes, of course the phone wasn't working, so he went to the other phone she went to the other phone. Where's the other phone? Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexicans love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. Right, okay, well, you left your trolley sack. Hey, honey, what time did you 
get off wooden tables. Beat you, Rusty! Right. Um, well, there's the uh, the fruit place. That's where the phone was. Let's go on. Oh my god! Come on, Rusty. Just take your life into your own hands. Run across the road. We'll be fine. Right. Just picked fruit market. Always fresh. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Can't we just break our way in? He's obviously doing deliveries. Right. So what have we got then? Uh, we, oh, we've got the Maldonado residence, haven't we? Let's go and check that out. Uh, we'll take this car, Rusty. I can't be able to try and find yours. Police business. Get in. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a uh. every day of the week. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel look. Okay, the Maldonado residence, 155. Uh, we probably need to look at the um, the markings at the front to see which actual room he's in. Do we know which which? Oh yeah, we'll open that one as well. Uh, Maldonado, there you go, number 304. Maldonado is an apartment 304. Okay, three or four. Come on, Rusty. Uh, I'm thinking. Yeah, we use the stairs. Don't need our lift. Hoppity hop. Hoppity hop. There's probably one more stairs if it's conventional. It'll be this floor. Well, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Rusty in his golden gun. LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Oh, it's not golden. Who's this? Oh, we got a bit of a. Ow! How have we been jumped like this when we had the guns out? Oh, this guy's tough. Oh, there we go. He's not that tough, though. Whew. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Well, then, Rusty. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? You get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbor. Right. What have we got then? I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> Only the boss. He's got so he's got a baseball bat. Finbar, get out of the way. He's got a plate on there. Okay, you're gonna stay in here. Okay, well you do that. Book them. Book them, Danny. Oh. Right, okay. Let's see what's around here. Anything interesting? No. So far, nothing interesting. It's only a meal for one, and there's two of them. No. Just picked. Just picked fruit market. Oh, yeah, we've been there. Oh. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Yes, indeedy.
El Dorado Bar. Okay. Two, ma three matches used. Must be a family favorite. Yes, indeed. Oh wait, 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 wait. Go back in. Look at that. He's got blood on the arm. There, that's it. This will take some explaining. Won't it? More so, we've got blood down there, look. Ooh. Yes. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angle's movement. Okay. Alibi, so. See if anyone is... Uh, this one's got a gold door, so we'll try this one. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her he husband? He answered the door Those quickly two? if he's in bed. They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Well, that was useful. Right. Um, we got anything else? There's another gold. Um, oh, this one's gold as well. Look, we try all these. No good. There's nobody here. Try this one then. Oh, Jesus. Shoot him. about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> well, what would you answer the door like that? Were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated. And uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Should we take the mask off so we can have a look what he looks like? Just in case he's a suspect? Apparently not. Hello. LAPD. Hello. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. <laughs> she just, just swings the door closed. Nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. Absolutely. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Ooh, good one. All right, let's go and um, check out that fruit veg, fruit and veg place because that's we got the alcohol from there. We'll take this red car here. Cool. Oh, Ru Rusty, where are you? Right, I'm going to go to the phone. You can catch up. Right, we're just going to call into station. Phelps, badge twelve forty-seven. Messages for me, please. Message from Captain Donnelly, Detective. Your presence is requested urgently at Central Station. A new letter from the Dahlia Killer has been found. Thanks. Oh, okay. Um, head to uh, Rusty. Where's your hat? Oh, he's lost his hat. Oh, I have to go into the police budget to get some uh, sundries to get the uh, the hat sorted. Come on, Rusty, get in. We're going back to Central. Okay, back at Central. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Uh, okay, I'll follow Rusty. I'm not sure where I'm going. Where's downstairs, Rusty? Got a stakeout down on second later tonight. Lovely. Does that mean poker and uh, smoking? I guess. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. Yeah. Thank you. First thing nice anyone has said about me for uh, quite a while. Oh, thank you, Finbar. Boys, come on in. Phelps. It's that dodgy guy again, the red hat. Brown. Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours, regardless. Good. 
Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Okay, so he's just one of the, um... <laughs> CSI guys. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Uh, have changed my mind. You... You would not give a square deal. F-U-B-D Tex. Okay. What is this? Keep upon the soul Keep by virtue of this curse. Virtue of this curse. Are you going to read the rest of it? Oh my. Okay. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Right. Okay. Let's go and get Maldonado then. Rusty, you need to get a hat. It's really sort of putting me off you not having a hat. Which change view room is he in? Hey! Latest thing. Did you? Oh, you put it in the bin. That's okay. I thought. Oh, I can't have he police officers throwing Olympic. rubbish Finally around the place. We're in room two. Improved hey, Angel. Attitude. Angel, what do you want yeah, me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Right, last contact so your wife with her. paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Ah, the alibi. Testifies to Angel pursuing Antonia from the department bit. Okay, so that's a lie. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Okay, but the old lady down the road will tell us that you ran out after her. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad. But it's not true. We argued, all right. But she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car. It was a brown Ford Coupe. Brown Ford Coupe. Okay, divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but... We weren't getting a divorce. Uh, yeah, you were. Uh, we do have the divorce. Yeah, we got the divorce papers. Yeah, you yeah, you were, mate. You were definitely getting I don't divorced. You, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Oh, well. But we got the divorce papers nonetheless. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. And she ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? Jewelry taken from the when body. We found your wife. Her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that.
He looks upset, but his, his eyes are staying still, so... What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Okay, and there's blood stain on your, your shirt. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah! You, you delivered that beautifully. Uh, watch the eyes. Ready, 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 ready! Well, I don't believe that, but actually... He's, he's making constant eye contact. Doubt him. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something, or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name Ooh. of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. Right, let's get to that fruit place. Hey, dude. What are you going to say? Nope. So he's going to say something to us. Right. Let's take our little red charger and let's go. Right. To the fruit market. Okay, here we go. The fruit market. Hopefully it's open this time. Beautiful bit of abandonment. I'm not going to say parking, but abandonment. There we go. Looks like the uh, delivery dude has just turned up at the same time. Convenience. There he is. Yeah, it does look like fruit and veg. Although we do know... Well, maybe he's just storing his uh, liquor in the old box. Because he had the box from before. Hello. Sir, I'm de Wait, you look familiar. Hey, hey in isn't the bar, he? Right? He was um, in Charmed, the original series. LAPD. Wasn't he the White Lighter? Sorry, my, my ex used to watch that a lot. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? Uh, distinctive necklace? Did she have one? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Phoebe? Whoa. Hey. You're getting the wrong idea. Uh, though he is looking shifty. Doubt him. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Mm-hmm. Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. But I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. Yeah, that's fair enough, I suppose. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Use the phone for a cab and then left. Yeah, again. Something's going on. Uh, doubt. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went ape shit one day when he caught me talking to her. She had me back until last night. Movements of the victim. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Okay, that's that seems Can you describe honest. Describe the car. Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. <laughs> Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. He's looking Don't for his hat, you see. Order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working for him? Oh, brilliant. 
Right, this must be the back. Let's have a look in here then, see what we can find. Probably a load of pooch. We'd have to kick the door. It's because old moonshine business. Open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, something straight away. Straight here. Here you go. Just picked hooch. Look at that. How much a, a box goes for? So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Uh, there's blood on the, the things. Oh! Oh! Uh... We got that. Key. No, wasn't the key. Uh, dot pattern. There we go. Two five three. That's it. Uh, how do we do this? Two. Yeah. Five. Yeah. There. <gasps> A charm bracer. I got a call back to that universal forest line. What is that? Prayer hands. Okay. Um, what about the blood on the clothing? Why, why can't we seem to look at that for some reason? Oh, and we got a knife. We got a tire wrench as well. Let's have a look at this. I cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. You must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Cliff! We gotta run up! We gotta run up! Oh! Okay. I wish I'd have bought a faster car now. Oh, brilliant. We'll use this one. Let's God go. Damn it. Get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Woo! Whoop. Hit it. Clean his hat. Asshole off the road. Did he just lose his hat even though he'd already lost it? When did you find that hat? When we had the chance, Phelps. When oh, we well. had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. That's it. You gotta get me closer. I've got my foot down as hard as it will go down. Strange that he keep a trail of blood right back to his own mark. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Oh, this is not going well. Hang in there. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Right, let's get alongside him, Rusty. You blow out his tires, really? Get him. Get him. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. He's got a heavier vehicle than us. Try and do a pit maneuver, though. Oh. Rusty morning on the loss of his second hat of the day. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. 
I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. What about Rusty's hat? He needs a new hat, Chief. He really does. <laughs> Helping himself through a box. I would. Don't blame him. Absolutely, he's going to count. Right, done. We didn't even have to interview Clem. Okay then, the silk stocking murderer. Done. Clues found 17 of 17. Questions correct, 13 of 13. Lucky for some. Vehicle damage, $571. Silly damage, $200. Not to mention Finbar's lost hat, times two. Um, with the body on his doorstep, the DA may look to send Clay or Clem Feeney to the gas chamber. Ooh. So, another felon off our streets. The city is a little bit safer. Justice has been done with a five-star rating case closed. Boom. Fantastic. Thank you ever so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed this investigation. Thanks once again to the unbelievable support of my Patreons. And if you've liked what you've seen and you want to see some more, remember to hit that like, share with all your friends, and if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell. I shall see you next time for another case. Take care.